to cut something out and put it on a new background. Like say I wanted to take this music guy and put him on the background of this radio to cut him out. First thing I would do is go to the layers palette. Get this stupid thing straight. Right. Go to layers and double click the background. Then you get this menu. Choose OK. And then it's named layer zero. So here's some pretty cool things that you can do. Now that you have layer 0, this little guy right here, click him and you'll get these two things. This is called a layer mask and what it does is it allows you to erase parts of images but it allows you to redraw the image if you made a mistake by pressing X. So getting back to the whole point this you select the brush tool which is right here this is the brush and then you begin to erase and so you just cut off the edges just like this And you can also zoom into the picture by pressing uh, by pressing Z. You get this magnifying glass. Hold Alt. You can zoom in, or zoom out. It makes it much more easier for you to draw with if you zoom in. And so you just continue cutting him out. And say if you made a mistake like this, you could easily fix this by pressing X, and then it will redraw what you have erased. And so that will fix that problem. It also draws back the background, so you gotta be careful. Press X again to continue erasing. And when you get the background that you need, and you just cut him out. You just you could just erase the rest of all this. Make the you can make the brush bigger if you want. Up here is the brush controls. Just choose the different sizes that you want. And you can also just make the bigger by moving this scroll bar up and down. this off. After you're done cutting him out, as you can see he magically got cut off by the whatever of time, the magic trick or whatever, you just take him and then you pull him on to, you click and hold and just bring him on to the other image. And there you go. Now he is in the background and you can do all kinds of stuff to him. Like if you go to 
You go to edit, you get the control to free transform him, which means you can make him larger or smaller. Just click and hold, hold shift to keep it even, or let go of shift and you can really put him however you want. Hold shift and it keeps it even for you. And so that's how you do that. Now also what you would want to do, some edges may come out a little bit sharp, a little too sharp and look unrealistic. What you can do is go to the blur tool, which is this one. And click that blur tool. And you could blur the edges of the picture, which will smooth them out the edges for you. Oh, but it doesn't seem to be working. Sometimes I think if it doesn't work, you have to press X for your switch. Then it might work. It will start to blur out those edges and smoothen it. That's the whole point of blurring things. Sometimes is to smoothen it. Or to show something that, or show something that you don't want someone else to see. It blows it out. That doesn't seem to be working either. Or is it? Yeah, yeah it is. Okay, good. Yeah. So that's what you do. Also, if you go to this little guy down here, it's an it's a small tiny app. This will give you a whole bunch of effects on different things. Like, say for instance, choose it. You get all these options of inner glow, outer glow, inner shadow, drop shadow. The inner shadow is cool. It makes the... you If you mix it like a shadow inside of the picture, and just play around with these tabs right here. It shows you what it does to the picture as you move it. It adds like a little shadow on the inside of the picture. And you can add choke and the size will soften it to make it blend in more but darken it as it goes along. Which is a nice little effect. You could try messing around with all of these. They all have their own things that's unique about them. You blur out something like that. You change the color of it. Say you don't like that yellow, you choose blue. Get blue. Background. Blue. You can really add a blue outside of him, which is cool. And so the layers palette is something that when you have multiple pictures in a single image, like you can move this, if you move this down or move this up. Oh. Dude, seriously, move. It's not going, so double click it. Press OK. Now you can move the layer up. And so, as you can see, what has happened is the guy has disappeared because now he's on the background. And that's what happens. If you move the layers up and down, it changes the positions of where they were. I'll just put him back in the moving back in. Um, the opacity. The opacity will let you make the image more transparent as you bring it down so you can see through the image. 